Hey coaches, welcome back to Football Talk with Coach Chip. Before I go any further, just, just watch this as I talk. If you want to, you can mute me and just enjoy it. I'm going to play it again at the end with, with no narration. This is North Dakota State. It's, I believe it's the I don't know, second round of the FCS playoffs, or somebody old as me calls it one AA playoffs. And I saw the game yesterday. I'd recorded it. And so I said, I'm going to watch it again this morning when I do my morning workout on the elliptical. And uh, just watch the offense, of course, rewinding it and all that. I'm just why I love cold mornings when I get too cold to run. And so when I run, I listen to podcasts. And when I'm on the elliptical, I watch football. And this morning, I said, that's my next video. Well, then on Twitter this morning, after I uh, got out of the shower, after the workout, somebody had shared at Coach Dan Casey on Twitter where he had posted it. And then he went back and reposted it and set it to music. Uh, Ave Maria. My God, it's a religious moment. Go to at Coach Dan Casey on Twitter and uh, and watch the video. He's got it set up like a GIF, a GIF, whatever you call it. And uh, it's just over and over again, just like this right here is. I got this set up the same way. But I want to talk you through it a little bit before I do. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, okay? That's Football Talk with Coach Chip. Share it with your friends, okay? And then be sure to like it as well. All right, subscribe. All right, we're, we're, we're getting up. We're over 1,000 subscribers. We're strong. If you want to hit me up, hit me up at Chip Siegel. At, excuse me, it's Siegel.Chip at gmail.com. Siegel.Chip at gmail.com. Also uh, on Facebook. Join the conversation. I got a page there, Football Talk with Coach Chip. All right, and on Twitter, I'm at Chip Siegel. I think the handle's Coach Chip, but it's at Chip Siegel. All right, let's walk through this and talk through it real quick. I want you to see some of the things we've talked about in the past. I'm going to link it below. All right, the fullback is going to kick the five. Okay, this guy here who's a bonus tight end, the extra lineman in the game, is going to turn out on the nine. Because they're running a gap. They don't give a hoot, you know what, out here. And watch this fullback. And he's a backup fullback. This is a heavy package. The guy running the ball is their fullback. He's going to take that guy on with his in, on his inside. That's his aiming point, his inside. Then he's going to work his inside hip, which in this case is his right hip, upfield, creating a wall right here. Okay? A wall right here. All right. The down blocks, watch them. When he comes down, the left guard, 74, when he makes contact, is going to work his left hip upfield. So you got the kickouts, always make contact on the inside number and work your inside hip upfield. And the down blocks, block down, and then work your, in this case, left hip, which would be outside hip, upfield which creates a wall and a wall, okay? And watch the center when he blocks back. He tries to work his left hip upfield, but the nose guard gets pushed down on him and it pins him. But even he's trying to get that, so you're creating that. All this talk about getting vertical push, uh, it's about displacing people. It's putting them somewhere they don't want to be. All right, and watch how this A gap opens up. And then the backside guard, the rapper, doesn't get in a hurry. I love that. They, they, they've been doing it that way for years. And, you know, and I've tried to slow my kids down, and I slow them down too much. Or, and it's just they've been doing it for so long. And it's amazing that even when that staff left and went to Kansas State, enough of them stayed behind to keep that culture going. And it's not just their culture, but the way they play football, the way they coach football. They haven't missed a beat. You know, they've won every national championship of the 20 teens, except two. And uh, I don't even think they competed for it last year because they played fall ball and everybody else played spring ball, right? I think that's right. But just watch how they wrap and watch how they block. Inside number, now watch the pulling guard. Inside, he almost collapsed. You know, that fullback brought some funk, didn't he? I mean, that linebacker, look at it. Watch the linebacker. Bam, but at 63, almost collapsed in him through his hips. But 63, stay strong. Boom, inside number. Work, work, work. Good deal. 
that's good stuff right there. And I, this was the game was like two touchdown game, and this was late, make it a three or four touchdown game. All right, don't forget to subscribe to Football Talk with Coach Chip, and I'm going to let this run, and I'll see you all later. Be elite. Uh,